Anthony Aguirre has issued a challenge to humanity. Keep the future human. But what does that mean? In a recent essay, Aguirre warns we may be at the end of the human era. Why? Because we're currently in a global race to build AGI, artificial general intelligence. AGI is often defined as artificial intelligence that matches or exceeds human experts at virtually any cognitive task. Aguirre is concerned because we're currently in an AI arms race. Companies and nations are racing to be the first to develop AGI, and the incentives are overwhelming. The first to develop AGI would have digital armies of human-level artificial minds at their disposal. If used well, AGI could cure diseases, revolutionize education, and solve our hardest scientific problems. But Aguirre argues these benefits come with unprecedented risks, ones we've never faced before. AGI could lead to massive societal disruption, the automation of warfare, and the collapse of human labor markets. He argues this danger comes from a three-part combination. Let's call it the AGI triad. High autonomy, high intelligence, and high generality. Humans already have all three. Arguably, that's what makes us the dominant species. We're not the strongest or fastest animal. What sets us apart is our general autonomous intelligence, our ability to think through many different types of problems and take action accordingly. If we are successful in developing AGI, Aguirre claims that we would be making a second species of intelligence on Earth. A second highly intelligent species brings the ultimate risk, the loss of human agency. If we build systems smarter and faster than us that can act on their own, we could be surrendering our future to algorithms we can't control. But Aguirre points out AI doesn't have to be this way. AI doesn't have to have all three high intelligence, high generality, and high autonomy. He claims that the key to safe AI and keeping the future human is to design limited AI systems. What does that look like? Well, take self-driving cars, intelligent and autonomous, but not general. They can drive, but they can't write poetry or solve novel scientific problems. So how do we keep the future human? We restrict developers from building the full triad. Instead, we focus on what Aguirre calls tool AI, systems that empower humans rather than replace them. This way, we can get the same benefits of AGI without risking the AI takeover. As Aguirre concludes, we can build amazing AI tools without building a successor species. The notion that AGI and superintelligence are inevitable is a choice masquerading as fate. Humanity can decide not to build our replacement. To do so, we'll need hard global limits on developing AGI before it's too late. To read the full essay and decide where you stand on the future of humanity and intelligence on Earth, visit keepthefuturehuman.ai.